welcome to my channel. I am Antonio Tangayan Jr., agriculturist, and I would like to share my expertise and experiences in agriculture. So today's episode, I am going to share with you the basic management of pig or swine during delivery or farrowing. So let's learn together. Come on! So here are the materials needed during farrowing. So we have the alcohol, nylon, iodine or one spray, water, cutter, scissor, forcep, artificial heat or bulb, loads, and the piglet stall, the two division piglet stall. This is now what we call a uh, kuna or the stall for the piglets. It has two compartments. No? So the main reason of this is that if there are weak piglets, so it will be uh, isolated in you know, this area. So uh, the piglets will survive. So we will put some clothes. Average pregnancy period of guilt or sow is 114 days. This guilt shows a signs of delivery or farrowing. Includes reduced appetite, restlessness, standing up and lying down, and chewing materials that is near to hear. Teeth enlargement occurs. The milk is secreted into the mammary glands and with a gentle hand and finger massage, it can be expressed from the teeth. So these are some of most reliable signs of impending delivery or farrowing. After two and a half hours of laboring, this dam produced 10 healthy piglets, so not bad for the first farrowing. The normal farrowing of a sow or gilt takes between 2 and 4 hours to complete fatal delivery. Right after the delivery, the offspring should intake the first milk produced by the dam. And the first milk produced by the dam is what we call colostrum. Colostrum contains essential antibodies or immunoglobulins for the health of the newborn piglet. Antibodies are produced by the body to kill bacteria and viruses. The piglet is born with very few of the protecting antibodies necessary to thrive and realize in the sow's colostrum to obtain them in the defense against bacteria and viruses. Colostrum is a rich source of highly digestible nutrients which are critical to establishing the newly born piglet and studies indicate that colostrum contains natural growth factors for the normal development of vital life-sustaining organs. Suckling of colostrum by piglets is very important in order to have and to improve the survival rate. This colostrum is secreted from the udder immediately after farrowing and 
within 24 hours, its composition changes to that representing sow milk. This colostrum can only be benefited up to 24 hours after delivery. Okay, so we need to massage the, the belly part of the dam so that uh, it allows her to relax. Okay. Therefore, easy for the piglets to get their milk from their mother. <laughs> 